Yeah, you can barely hear that. What are you doing, Luke? <laughs> ah, Fuck you, it's Halloween music. It's good enough. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're not if wrong. If anybody could hear it, because my phone speakers so, kind of suck. I mean, I, I pretty sure we heard it, yeah. yeah. No, you're fine, no worries. Oh, well. Anyway, welcome everybody. Happy yeah. Halloween. Yeah, yeah, Halloween was in a couple days here. Um, you know, what is it, today's 27th? Because yeah. we record on Friday. And... Uh, Halloween, I think, is Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Something like that. It'll be a couple days after this comes out. Unfortunately, I I do work Tuesday. Yeah. And you know, I you, you know, uh, Tony and I, Tony's a friend of ours and a coworker. Tony and I had the idea last year to dress up as Mario and Luigi. Yeah, yeah. He wanted to do uh, and we Mario Kart, and we completely failed at it. Yeah. <laughs> and um, like like we didn't do it last year because it, uh, we just didn't get the costumes in time. Mm-hmm. And our excuse this year is we don't have one because we had a fucking year to get it prepared. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, yeah, we, we're not. Yeah, but our plan was, you know, we were gonna buy, you know, like you said, the stuff, you know, the yeah. stuffed turtle shells and just Overalls. cheap, cheap Mario outfit. Yeah, mm-hmm. and just drive around in the uh, in our uh, electric wheelchairs and just throw them at each other. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, I was gonna do Wario, but uh, found, turns out finding purple overalls is really really hard. And to make it even worse, you're a big Finding guy. Finding purple overalls in my size yeah. that cost less than $150 is impossible. <laughs> yeah, no. It's... Overalls in my size are way too fucking expensive, so I wasn't even going to do that. I mean, in my honest opinion, overalls, period, are way too expensive. Yeah. So, I mean, but that would have been really cool. Like, and So, no fun for us. Yeah, no no fun for us. You know what would have sucked, though, is I would have been wearing the full Mario kit, but I mm-hmm. still would have had to wear my shitty yellow vest. Yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't... I don't know what I would have accomplished, to be honest with you. Oh, it'd be great. Aside from looking like a douchebag. Some manager came... This one manager we have comes in in the morning sometimes. You gotta go home and change. Uh, No, (laughs) it's Halloween. You got a dress code. Fuck your dress code. (laughs) I I, can... No, we're not gonna go into this. (laughs) We've raged enough. Let's have a non-rage episode. Or let's try to have a non-rage episode. Yeah. Just so uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of Halloweeny type stuff, you yeah. know, because you know it's Halloween, and I don't know. For some people, Halloween is like the best holiday of the year, and I know it's definitely my favorite, you know, holiday, quote unquote. And I love Halloween. I've always have. And you know, like when I was a kid, man, I fucking I, there was the one day I looked forward to the entire year as much as Christmas. Because you get to, I mean, what other day can you go out, knock on strangers' doors, and have them give you candy? Yeah. It doesn't work any other day. I've tried it. It, do, it doesn't happen. It doesn't fly. Don't do the shit on November 1st. People will fucking look at you weird. <laughs> they look at you funny. Unless you're a little kid and you walk up to a house and ask for a banana. Well, yeah, and yeah. And cool sunglasses. What the fuck was that dude? What was his name? I don't know. I just I can't remember banana his, kid. I can't remember. No, he had a name. Hank? No. Something cool. No, it wasn't Hank. I'm not looking it well, up. Well, it might have been it's Hank. It's an internet meme, and I'm not looking it up. I'm 90% sure his name started with a C, though. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, that kid just oh, walks he's just up. just a cool kid. He just walks up with fucking glasses on. Can I have a banana? <laughs> and I love that the people were like, this kid just walked up to that, my house and asked if I could, he, if he could have a banana. They totally so gave I him gave a banana. Him one. <laughs> yeah, he totally gave him a banana. And the kid's just out in the driveway eating it and looking back like, thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Kids going places. Oh yeah, maybe not college, but going maybe. Places. Yeah, <laughs> it reminds me of um that that the joke I just made actually reminds me of um it's a picture of a kid and he's sticking a butter knife in a fucking TV set. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's going places, not college, but places. Yeah, yeah, that's, oh, that, yeah. that's what the caption was, and it just made me lol so much, man, because that that shit was just funny as hell. Um, oh, yeah. I still think one of the best. Uh, Memes, Nimmin's macro, macros was the uh, I've made a mistake kid. Oh, the, yeah. With the fucking ramen he tried to microwave and just made fire. Oh, yeah. Uh, minor mistake Marvin, I think is oh what it's God, called. Oh, my God. That's one of the greatest pictures ever. Yeah, that poor kid, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the look on his face. I I can say with 100% certainty that I have definitely, definitely, definitely felt the same way he did. Oh, yeah. Totally. It's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like when I leave for work and I get up to the bus stop and it's like two minutes until the bus is about to be there and I realize I forgot my walkie. Yep. 
I was like, ah, oh, god damn it. Because my walkie works. <laughs> Unlike most of the ones we have at work. Like, like finding equipment at work that is functional enough for you to do your job is difficult. So when you do, you fucking hold on to it. Yep. That's why I kept, keep one. Yeah, but... Um, I don't know. <laughs> fucking retarded I, uh, stuff. I, I loved Halloween for a long time when I was a kid. Um, and then there was this period of like... Five, maybe five years, um, and I've mentioned it. I think I've mentioned it before. My family was pretty religious. When I was younger, they still did the trick or treating thing. Um, had a great time, and then at some point, for some reason, we listened to one of the other uh, people that went to our church, and one of the other kids was like, "Hey, we have a harvest party, and it's really fun. You should come." And I was like, "Ah, but you know, trick or treating and candy. Oh, they give out candy there." And I was like, "Really? So we have a party, and you know, apples and." Bobbing for apples and all that, all the good stuff. Right, right. So I'm like, okay, we'll go to the harvest party. And of course, it was because Halloween is an evil, sinful holiday for the devil. So, you know, we go to this harvest party at the church. And yeah, that was a mistake that went on for a few years until I finally begged my parents enough to let me go back to trick or treating. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> like, I, I don't, I don't want to shit on on anything, but. Oh, God. parties and churches generally don't mix well. No, if you are into having fun. <laughs> I mean, granted, there unless was... unless of course your idea of fun is thirty five white people who on, whose only connection to each other is living in the same shitty town and going to the same church, standing around talking yeah. about random shit. It was. Uh, it was. It wasn't. It wasn't awful. But I would much, much have rather had the candy every year. Unless, of course, you go to a black church, because black churches are alive as fuck. Oh, I went to my buddy, I think, did we go to the Halloween, his church's Harvest Festival? Mm -hmm. Uh, And Jay will listen to this, he'll know. They not only did one of the old ladies at his church make the greatest chili I've ever had in my entire life. That's what I'm talking about. That was fucking live. That whole party was it's high fucking energy awesome. to get into that shit. I was you know? like, why? I, why don't we go to your church? And my parents were like, no, we can't go to that church. I'm like, why? His church is fun because and there's please. black people. That's why. I mean, because they wear jeans and they don't wear dress clothes at all the time, and they can, you know, wear what they want. Why? Like I said, because What's that fucking because there's black people there. That's why. I uh, probably that's probably I mean, part of it. But my parents were I mean, very. They were very, uh, or like I guess Orthodox is the best term. They were like hardline Baptist Bible, one hundred percent. Like, yeah, everybody yeah. wore dresses at my church. Nobody wore like normal, like street clothes, casual wear. It was it was pretty strict. It was uh, I I like growing up. I used to go to Awana on Wednesday nights. I would go and and finally, like, my parents didn't even have me in Awana, which was at least a little bit of a relief. But I would have to go to church Sunday. Go to Awana. I went to a Christian school. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck is Awana? Awana is Christian Boy Scouts without any of the fun. <laughs> but all of the rape. No. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe some places. Uh, Not at my church, thank God. Uh, I'm no, just saying, at my church, man, it know? was. It oh, was, wait, wait, uh, I'm sorry, that's the Catholics, not the Catholics. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah this is Baptist, we're Protestants, thank you. We're into the beating of children, not the touching and feeling of children. Alright, cool, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> but yeah, that was, uh, that was fun. It, at least it was something to get out of the house on Wednesday nights. But it was all memorizing Bible verses and that sort of thing. And then we'd play games. So it was a little bit better, but I still would have rather been in like a school activity. I went to a Baptist church... And I went to church of my own volition like five times <laughs> and never did it again. I don't blame you. I, it was one of those things where like, my parents never forced any of that shit on me. And I'm really, really glad they didn't because, um, I mean, once again, I don't want to shit on anybody, but religion is definitely not for me. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Halloween episode, Halloween right? Halloween episode, because we... I don't know what the fuck the last five Satan! minutes... Satan! <laughs> last five minutes were, I mean... Uh, we got off topic. But, well, we do that all the time. I yeah. Mean, I don't even know what the point... I, I really do sometimes question why we even come in here and have a topic. <laughs> <laughs> like, we, we have... Look, we have a topic that we can dance around and have a conversation about. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, that was my Halloween tradition for a while. We went to right. these harvest parties. Thankfully, after uh, a couple of years, went back to trick or treating because my favorite part of Halloween when I was a kid, and for a long time, it wasn't really the candy. I loved having a Halloween costume, mm-hmm. and that was one thing that they were like, you weren't not allowed to have but it wasn't like it they would very obviously frown upon it because it was taking part in this holiday right which right. if you're having a harvest party on that day isn't that kind of taking part in that holiday too well no because the harvest party is celebrating the harvest not well, celebrating they called holiday. it a harvest party I, it yeah. wasn't a harvest thing i get i get what you're saying but that's then i could make okay. a claim that they're being pagans but that's their that's their workaround maybe it was yeah it totally was it was their roundabout because way to keep all, I mean, because November 1st is All Hallows, yeah. and November 31st, or October 31st, sorry, is All Hallows Eve, and yeah, yeah, that's all I got for that, because we're not going to go into all that. All the pagan beliefs and everything, I think that stuff's cool, I'm glad I learned about that afterwards. Oh yeah, no, I mean, well, where do you, anyway, but, um, we're going to get off topic again. Quick question, though, because it involves Halloween, totally. Yeah. Something that we had in, uh, when I grew up in Michigan. Uh, Devil's Night. Right. Night before Halloween. Is that like something big thing? Like, is that something you have down here? Talk no, about? No, no, I've never, honestly, never heard the term. I've never heard it now. I wondered about that because in Michigan, it, everyone knows what Devil's Night is. It's the night before Halloween. Right. And that's the night where, um, younger, my parents would like warn me, oh, don't be out on Devil's Night. It's bad. When I got to be a little older, a teenager, Devil's Night was when the kids went and fucked around. Yeah. Instead of doing it Halloween, uh, Devil's Night is when we would TP houses, when we would like throw eggs, when we would go egging and stuff like that. I that was Devil's, the Devil's Night. Night. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. And it was like um they mm. would say bad things which, happen which, on which, Devil's Night, way. which they really didn't. Which by the way, well no, they did. It was oh, just well, yeah, you were the ones doing it. <laughs> we were the little and shits they were doing the ones it. planting the ideas in yes. your head, which is what I find so amusing about that. Oh yeah. Is that if they didn't call it Devil's Night and hype it up to be this amazingly terrible thing. It's very possible that you wouldn't have been fucking out there teeping houses and setting cars on fire. Maybe that's something you did. I, I don't know. Some, they made it sound like that's the kind of shit that would go down on Devil's Night. Right. I was really convinced for a long time when I was a kid that the entire country went into purge mode on Devil's Night and for some reason was cleaned up by the next day when I was trick-or-treating. The best that I can tell you <laughs> is um, I may have heard an inkling or two about yeah. that, but... I, I found mean, out much later in life that apparently it was like a Michigan thing, or at least uh, for them, as far as I can tell now. Like I've uh, read stuff online about it, and it's like if you go into a forum, most people are like, "The fuck is Devil's Night, you evil fucking people up yeah, there?" Yeah. But I don't I know. Mean, it was always it was always something we got told about when I was younger. When I was you know, right? It didn't matter. Not just the Christian uh, f- friends and stuff, but everyone. I mean, see, for me, like my favorite thing with Halloween were always the decorations. Yeah, um, decorations were cool. Down in my old neighborhood, there's a little, there's a, well, not a little, it's a huge white house. Mm-hmm. And uh, the owners have passed away now, and I'm not sure who owns it now. But back when I was a kid, all the way through my early adulthood, um, they would go fucking balls deep on their decorations. Yeah, and hell it yes. was always the coolest fucking thing ever. Like, I'm, I'm talking like, this house is big. Like, um, we're talking like six bedroom house type shit. Yeah. Two stories, probably a basement. I don't know. But they had a big front yard and they were right on the corner of a side street. So you go down the side street, you see them instantly. And they'd have always the coolest decorations, you know, shit that jumps out at you. They'd have funny ass grave markers. They'd have fog machine and lights that flickered on and off. Yeah. Pardon me, projections and all that. Like they really went all out, and that was always my favorite kind of thing. And I always looked forward to visiting that house, mm-hmm. even though I had seen it, you know, for years. I, every fucking year, I'm like, I gotta see the house, I gotta see them. And uh, those are the houses that'll have the best candy too. Yeah, yeah. They they usually gave away full size candy bars yep. and stuff like that. Um, and there were there were multiple houses like that one, but this one stood out because a it was really close to home. Mm-hmm. Like I could literally walk to it in five minutes. Um, and B, they actually were bigger than any of the other houses when it came to their decorations. And it was it was always so really cool. But everybody in that little area where we walked always went, you know, pretty hard on Halloween. And it was always so cool to see their decorations. That's cool. See the ghost things they propped up and the fog machines. And there was one, one year, uh, I don't remember what house it was. I know it wasn't the big white one. 
but they used a fog machine, a white sheet, and a projector to make it seem like you were about to be attacked by something. And it was like, <laughs> it was like, it was like, we're, we're now moving into amateur special effects type shit. That's like, pretty awesome. Yeah, like I and that and on all the times on Halloween, um, I, it's the only time I can remember being like, "Holy shit, what the fuck was that?" Yeah, you know, what the fuck was that? Um. But, yeah, I, I always loved that kind of thing. And, oh, of course, yeah. like you said, having a costume is always cool. Yeah, you know, I loved costumes. Dressing up as Batman or some shit like that. Cause yeah. I, I remember I did go one year as Batman. I went one year as a as a Power Ranger. Mm-hmm. You know, as oh, I, got... I did the Power Ranger. I did Batman. Uh, I my, the, my favorite one when I was younger, I remember being a Ghostbuster. Mm-hmm. Had the fucking proton pack and everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was fun. I think the most recent time I dressed up... Um, was actually I was in my twenties, my early twenties was the last time I ever dressed up, and um, I dressed up as the Grim Reaper, <laughs> but I yeah. didn't like I had like all I went full on into the mode and everything, yeah. black hood where you couldn't see my face or anything, and I had like a really not I had an actual scythe, not like a <laughs> not like a like fucking a wood one and everything, yeah, wooden That's with cool. the, the fucking handle and a real blade and everything, mm-hmm. and I just stood there at the end of the driveway while my uh, girlfriend at the time walked up and got candy, and I would just stand there and point at him <laughs> 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 with like a fucking glove made to look like a skeleton, like a, just a bone hand, and I would just point. And That's I awesome. freaked so many people out, and it was the last time I can remember doing it. And um, I don't remember if I was in my mid or late twenties. Me, I but I wasn't like twenty two. I was I was a little older than that. Mm-hmm. And it was it was the most fun I've had um, in a long time, with the exception of the time when I went to Pittsburgh. The first time I ever went to Pittsburgh in twenty thirteen, it was around a, it was around Halloween, and uh, there's an amusement park over there named Kennywood. And they were having a fright fest go on, and my friend Matt and I went and did it. And uh, like none of it was scary, of course, mm-hmm. because jump scares don't really matter to me anymore. Yeah, I'm mostly desensitized to them. So like we're walking through, and we're just making fun of shit as as like <laughs> like a lady pops through a window and screams at me. I'm like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Stuff like that. Like one lady popped through a, a window like that and said something silly. I'm like, how rude, you know, like. <laughs> One guy popped, like, one guy was chasing us. I'm like, hey, man, you got a bathroom around here? Just, just saying <laughs> dumb shit to him, and it was just a lot of fun. But Halloween Halloween is, is always one of those fun holidays. Like, I mean, we. It's a holiday you get to do stuff, and there's, like. Right. You know, you can uh, kind of. It, it's out of the ordinary. Yeah, it's a, it's a holiday that's not really a holiday. Yeah, and you can make it different every year. Mm-hmm. Christmas is going to be the same, Thanksgiving is going to be the same. Yeah. Halloween's yeah. the one holiday yeah. where. I mean, it's got it's you've got your tropes, but I mean, with a costume, you get a co- different costume every year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't have to be, pardon me, you don't have to be Batman every year. No, you know, you can be Batman one year, and then you can say fuck it, flip the script, and be Thor the next. Yeah, and then the following year, you can be something simple and cheap because you decide, yeah, I don't want to do anything and be a ghost or something, throw a fucking exactly. sheep over your face, cut a, cut some eye holes out, and just go around and boo people. Or do the classic ghost face killer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could be super lazy, buy two dollars worth of fucking face paint, and just paint your face something different. Mm-hmm. Wear a hoodie and go around uh, assaulting people with like I don't know a dildo or something. Uh, you probably shouldn't do that, but you no, could. no, don't actually assault people. <laughs> <laughs> you could run around with a giant dildo and say you're from Saints Row. <laughs> yeah, see, I mean, there's so many costume ideas, and it's so it's, it's so dumb, but hey, it's, it's so fun. much fun. Like, yeah, and like, I mean. I've decorated the studio a little bit for Halloween. You know, we got a little spider on the mixer board. We got a skeleton hanging. <laughs> got in the here. lights. We got yeah. I got lights hanging up. We got a fucking talking pirate thing that that sits where Ron says when Ron's not here. So it's like yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Halloween's always fun like that. I uh, similar to the house houses you were talking about just the other day. Me and my grandmother were driving somewhere, and we're going down this neighborhood, and we stopped at a stop sign, and she looks over at this house that, like, went all the way on Halloween. They had giant decorations. Right. They had um, all of the tombstones and stuff, and she's, oh, is it that pretty? And I look over, and I was like, yeah, that's not the word I use, but that's really awesome. It's spooky. They had, they had one of the coolest simple decorations I've seen. Well, not simple. They had a full-size wolfman. 
Oh, nice. That had nice. like blood covering its uh, teeth and claws. Right. They had like they had like dead bodies and, and zombies like coming out of the ground. Like the hand popped out of the ground. Right. Skeletons and stuff hanging. They didn't do like the stupid simple witch hitting a tree thing. This dude, this dude's house was awesome looking. It was and that decked fucking, the fuck out. That fucking like six, uh, six and a half, seven foot werewolf. I was like. That is one of the coolest single de- decorations I think I've ever seen. Yeah. It looked like it came out of a prop shop. Um, I remember going to this Halloween place when I was younger in Michigan, and they had this big closed-off area where they had an animatronic xeno- xenomorph. Right. That oh, would move. fuck that. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it no, was They had no, the fog no. machine going on inside, and this thing would move and make the hissing noise. Oh, it was... I remember being... Fucking terrified going into yeah, this place. Yeah, are you fucking kidding me? The Xenomorph is for the Xenomorph. I've never seen the movies, mm. but I'm gonna go ahead and say the Xenomorph is one of the one of the most genuinely terrifying things yeah. in, in in cinema. Don't watch um, the fucking Covenant. And yeah, <laughs> it's like 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 going back to Resident Evil. That mm-hmm. that fucking one monster in four that is a xen- it's basically a xenomorph. It's a xenomorph that can like meld into walls. Yeah, it's a xenomorph that travels through walls. What the fuck do you do against that? Yeah. Well, you do what Leon does. You freeze it in place and shoot it with a shotgun or a magnum a couple times. <laughs> or an RPG, like in my case. Oh yeah, and an RPG. Yeah, like you get that free one. Just That's boom. What I saved it yeah. for. But yeah, it was that. That was awesome. Um. When I uh, I got not I was still young enough to trick or treat. I was like eleven or twelve, maybe ten. We started going with some family friends to their neighborhood because right. they lived in uh, Milford, Michigan, which was a much upper uh, upscale like um, uh, subdivision right. area from uh, my neighborhood. So of course we went there because they had all the better candy. Right. Like all the houses in the subdivision were decorated and ready to go for Halloween. Right. Half the houses on uh, on the streets around my house, like they wouldn't they wouldn't even fucking hand out candy. So we would start going there because it was it was just much better. It fucking reminds me of a of a time. Um, well, there were like you know how like the light off on the porch is generally the universal yeah. sign that there's nothing going on at that house. There was one guy who would leave his light on on his porch, and then if you came up to the door, he'd just stare at you from his fucking um, sure. living room. Yeah, those guys are assholes. It's like wh- we'd what, egg their house. Those, uh, those kind of people's houses. Like, like what are you doing, dude? Like turn your fucking light off. Yeah, save yourself some electricity, and don't be a douchebag. You got kids coming out here. They're they're innocent. They just want candy. Oh they, yeah. They, they maybe want a quarter or a nickel, whatever. Change you're gonna throw into there don't be a fucking <laughs> dick yeah here's a quarter i don't really have any hey candy. you know what dude like seriously like there were people that would just hand out change <laughs> like, i mean hey if it's what you got yeah i mean come on dude like you you could either do one or two things you can buy a couple hundred dollars worth of candy or you can get like 20 dollars worth of change throw out quarters yeah like, fuck it why not everybody and, gets 50 cents or something honestly yeah like like i used to clean up a little bit like i'd get like three or four dollars at the end of halloween man like <laughs> fuck yeah dude like, because when I was much younger, it used to last long, longer. I think when I first got to know, it was like six to ten, and then six to nine. Yeah. Now it's six to eight. So I remember there was a house when I was younger that give a <clears throat> roll of pennies. Yeah, like you I get think something like that. Like here, save it. You know, put it in a bank. Right. Um, I would immediately trade it for some <laughs> some like piece of candy. Yeah, because you were a stupid kid, but. Because fuck the roll of quarters, and I'm ten. Now I'm give six. Give me candy. Totally give me a roll of quarters. Ah, At that. any age, give me a roll. That's ten dollars. Well, no, if it was a roll of quarters, no, I was. Well, that's I was, what you just. Said. I said pennies. You, no, you did just say quarters, though. I'm sorry, dude. I yeah, can no, totally no, no. pull the if recording it, back up. I might. I misspoke. We have no, no. proof it this was, time. They only gave out rolls of pennies. They yeah. weren't handing ten dollars. But if you're gonna bring, you're house. gonna hand out a roll of quarters. I don't give a fuck yeah, what no. age I am. I'm taking a roll of quarters. I'll take a roll. Yeah. Especially now, though, because that's laundry for a fucking month, man. Yeah. No, yeah, but they'd give pennies. I liked uh, I, the people who give fucking uh, bags of like chips and stuff. Yeah, yeah, there were there were a bunch of people who would do that. Like people a, would make uh, uh, little snack popcorn bags and balls shit. and stuff. That too, yeah, that was yeah. always cool. Yeah, I mean, that, that all that. we have some. I've most of my fond memories don't actually come from Christmas. They come from Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, they come from running and eventually taking my younger sister out, taking my baby cousins out. Mm-hmm. Taking my ex fiance son out that was fun, um, yeah. Like that that kind of thing is has been for me the the, the best memories that uh, are related to a holiday. Like Christmas has always been cool, of course, and you always get cool gifts on Christmas. But now, 
running around through our neighborhood and Halloween dressed up as some random stupid shit. Yeah. Getting free candy as you I mean and you're out with your friends, you're out with your family, you're out with your bud, and you're just having a good time, man. You're just innocent stuff. Oh yeah. Even when you're older and you do like the uh just whatever, like we'd watch movies. Right. Me and my friends used to either watch movies in the house or uh <laughs> I, I, one year, and they'll if they listen to this, they'll remember it uh, probably not fondly, and I don't either. Um, <laughs> we decided we're going to go on the day. But on Saw, this podcast, but, we laugh at our pain. Yeah, oh yeah, I laugh at it. And I'm glad it turned out the way it did. Uh, and it showed that I had like a fucking awesome father. Um, we went out and decided we're going to go see Saw. And it just came out. Uh, now, I'm 16. I had just – I got my license pretty much as soon as I could. Right. Um, so I think I just recently had gotten my full license because I had just turned 16. Um, right, right. But in the state of Michigan, you're not allowed to drive until you're 18 with more than one person who's under 18, I think is the law. Um, if it's anything like Ohio, it's the, I think it's at the least same. one passenger in your car has to be 18 and be yeah. licensed. Yeah. Yeah. So – Or older. Of none course. of my friends were 18. They were all my age or a year younger. Uh, but you know, my dad's like, whatever we got him. I, I had, he had a minivan, so I was the de facto, uh, fucking taxi cab. Right. Of course. So of course we all pile into my car and we're driving to go to the movie theater and it's pouring down rain that night. And, uh, I remember I'm in the, I was going to a light and I was in like the left lane and I think I needed to get, or I was in the right lane. I wanted to get over something like that. So I'm looking over my shoulder to make sure there's nobody there. And my buddy Jason is in the back seat, and he's this very like he he's a dude who's very like a uh, he 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 keeps himself he doesn't like uh, act childish or anything like that. Right. He's very you know, he's a respectful dude. He's just kind of laid back redneck dude, and uh, which we called him. His nickname's Redneck. But uh, he's just like, hey, you better watch out. And I look up, and as soon as I look up, I slam on the brakes, and I rear in this car in front of us. Uh-huh. Right at this light. And I'm like, fuck. And I I don't know. I At the time, I had no idea how hard we really hit him. It didn't jostle us that bad. But I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. I, I'm so screwed. So I'm hoping, like, they pull forward, and I'm like, please don't pull over. Please don't pull over. And they do. And I'm like, oh, shit. And I'm like, what do I do? And all of my friends are like, uh, we don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> None of us have gotten into an accident. None of us, we, we've all just gotten our fucking licenses. All right. So I pull over. Thankfully, these people, no damage on their car. Right. They're pretty chill about it. They're just like, uh... Yeah, I mean, you know, you want to call the police or insurance or anything? And I'm like, no, no. Bad I'm idea. Good. Uh, I, I think I'm good. So I'm like, well, shit. Uh, I don't know fucking what we're going to do. So I'm like, I got to go back home. I got to take the car home. I'm going to go get fucking destroyed by my dad. Right. I'm like super black and bummed out at this point. And so I drive home. Uh, I get out of the car. Everyone gets out of the car, and I'm like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go inside and let them know and stuff." And they're like, "Okay." And I was like, "You, you know, you guys can go." And they're like, "Oh, well, they're just standing around. Like they're just gonna fucking wait and see what happens." Yeah, yeah way to go, douchebags. Oh yeah. So I go inside, uh, and I, I remember walking up to my dad, and he's like in the living room with all the lights out, just like passed out in a chair or I don't know if he was going to sleep or what. He was waiting on me to fuck up. <laughs> I'm not sure which. So it was like walking in and he like, what did you do? It was the first thing I think he said. That sounds about right. That's yeah. definitely a dad thing. And I told him, I was like, I, I, dad, I got into a car accident. He's like, oh shit. Comes out, checks the car out. And he's like, all right, well, you know what happened? Told him. He's like, all right, you know, you got to pay attention when you're driving that whole spiel and stuff. I'm like, yeah. And I was like, all right, so I guess, you know, I'll see you guys later. And he's like, well, aren't you going to the movies? And I'm like, I mean, yeah, but didn't I, like, lose that ability because I fucking rear-ended somebody? He's like, no, as long as you're careful, go ahead. And I was like, really? Because Saul was big. When this movie was announced, it was hyped up hugely. Yeah. So we were all super excited to see this movie. And the fact that my dad was like, yeah, you can still go drive to the movies, uh, I was like, oh, this is awesome. So I go to the movie theater, come back. Uh, and then we uh, told the insurance company that the car was hit by somebody while I was in the movies. 
<laughs> and it ended up all getting taken care of. The insurance paid for it because while their car wasn't damaged, the whole like the grill was fucked up on my dad's car. Right. I guess it had done something to the radiator. Like it ended up being like uh like fifteen hundred dollars to get it fixed. Ouch. I was like, damn. And I just had a teeny little car. Yeah. But no, that was that was one of the like strongest Halloween memories I have. Ended up loving the movie too. It's not a Halloween thing, but it, rem- the first one. it reminds me of the time we went and saw Thor or not uh, the Avengers opening oh, night. Oh God, we got turned around so many times. Uh, that <laughs> that whole situation was just bad. Yeah. Um. I, have we told that story on the pod before? Probably not. I don't. <laughs> um. All right. So it's, like I guess it's not exactly Halloween related, but it is related to the yeah. story Luke just told. Um. There was one day. Uh, well, it was opening night for the Avengers. It we, was Avengers, yeah. yeah we, we went, and saw, with, we went uh, and saw it at the midnight release. We went with some friends of ours. Mm-hmm. Our buddy James, our buddy Rob, our buddy Matt, myself, and I think it was just it was just that. It was just yeah. those three. So, oh, well, four, I guess, but I, I don't know. Um, so we're there, and James, our, our buddy James is like a, he's a pothead. Yeah. He's a total pothead. And uh, he's like, hey, y'all want to smoke? So we were like, yeah, sure, why not? And it's really dark yet, and so we're driving around, and Luke's sense of direction is it's not its not great. No, it, it's not. I, I think I turned the wrong way off when I got off the highway. Right, yeah, so so we were lost. We were going around back roads. I remember at one point hitting a, hitting a sign, like we had to stop and turn around because the sign said the, lo- the road ahead was closed. It turned into gravel or something like that, yeah, too. And then, we were and then, like, and then we hit a constru- where the fuck are we? And we hit a construction sign that said the road ahead was closed, so we had to turn <laughs> around. Um, but anyway... While we're driving along, I'm in the back seat. Rob's with me, and Matt's with us, and our buddy James in the fr- in the passenger seat. He's he's basically cr- you know breaking up his weed and rolling a joint. We all start smoking it, except Matt, because Matt at the time was super straight edge. He never smoked, so yeah. he never smoked. But he got a contact buzz. Okay, he, he got a he contact fucking buzz. Got the giggles. He got he got high. He was just he was. Just blathering away and <laughs> while we're in the car though he's, he's got a monster and he's drinking the monster right and we're we're along the road he finishes the monster like guys what should i do with the can it's empty and like i said remember at this point he's higher than any of us are yeah so we're like well we'll roll the window down and throw it out the window <laughs> so he's like okay so he rolls the window down and he goes to throw the can out the window and he goes to push it out with his finger the problem is He's holding the can at the end where he drinks it from. So he's got his finger in the fucking hole on the can. He, like, his finger wasn't in the hole when he threw it out. Oh, okay. I thought it was. I still when, believe when it he is. went to put when he went to put the can out the window, the force from the air coming in from us driving yeah. caught the can, forced it onto his finger, and cut him. Like I, I, I can distinctly remember yeah. watching him do it. So he didn't have his finger in the hole when he put it out. <laughs> I got to give him that much credit. But he's stupid, and so it, it caught him, and he threw it out. He's like, oh, my God, guys, I cut my finger. I cut my finger. I'm going to lose my finger. I'm going to lose my finger, guys. I cut my finger. I'm up there going, why was your finger in the hole, Matt? <laughs> and he said the most cringeworthy but most amusing <laughs> line ever. That I think he's ever said. He's like, guys, that was my magic finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he said was, too. <laughs> yeah, it was my magic finger, guys. And... And so what ended up happening is that Luke, um, there was more marijuana to smoke. Luke got a little too high to keep driving, at least for all of us to feel safe. Oh no, I was it was I was fine driving. What we ended up doing is he wouldn't shut the fuck up about his finger. Well, no, because you and Rob swapped places. I don't remember swapping. Places. Yeah, you and Rob swapped places. Mm-hmm. I remember. Was it when we got to? It was a. It was, Actually, it was before we pulled into that mire so that we could clean it Yeah, I up. remember we finally... So, it was, it was, ended, either way, we ended up finding a Myers. Yeah, we ended up finding a mire. We pulled over. Rob and I take Matt into the bathroom. We, yeah. we wash his cut up. We buy him some Band-Aids. We put a fucking Band-Aid on him. And now we tell him to shut the fuck up. Meanwhile, <laughs> me and James are in the car like, what the fuck is wrong with this little fucking <laughs> idiot? We... <laughs> So, from there, everything was pretty uneventful. We ended up getting to the movie. I remember what it was. Rob actually knew where we were going. Yeah. And okay. I had no fucking idea. Right. And and you were high. And there was... Yeah, and and you were, and I'm the, not navigating when I'm stoned. And not only that, the car was swerving a little bit. <laughs> you, I don't remember you, swerving. you were swerving just a little bit. And so, <laughs> because... And we all put up to a vote, like, none of us feel safe with Luke driving. So, so you and Rob swapped places. Because I don't think Rob smoked either, but Rob didn't get the, the contact bus yeah. that Matt got so 
we we did, we did eventually make it to the movie. And, and we made it on time, too. Yeah, yeah. No, we made it with, like, 20 minutes to spare somehow. Yeah. But the funny thing is, the way, like, I sat in the center, and then Luke was to the left of me, I think. James was to the right of me. To the right of James was Matt. And then Rob was on the other end. So we were all sitting there in our, our row. Um, and Matt was just talking to James <laughs> the, the whole time, time. time. I remember, because I'd kind of peek over every once in a while, like, what the fuck is he talking and about? And he's just going. He's just talking. And he's probably, knowing Matt, at the time he was saying nothing of any importance. No, it was, it was just, what the fuck is up with this guy? <laughs> and you know, Matt? the funny thing is James was replying to him, too. I know, because James was fucking fine with talking in the movie. James didn't give it. Well, like, they weren't disruptive or anything. They were just <laughs> sitting there chatting, like, whatever, man. And it was the funniest goddamn thing. I mean, no, that movie was fucking good. Oh yeah, so, it was yeah. awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it's so, yeah, that, I, I I feel like I've told the story before in the podcast, but whatever you you've heard it, it and it's funny. It's fucking yeah. hilarious, and I bet you there are people. Who I thought I hit a kid when we first got in the car because I backed into a fucking light post. Oh yeah, yeah, because yes. where I used to live, there was that fucking telephone pole right in the middle. Like it's not in the. It, it was literally right in the middle of the parking lot. Yeah, it was like, and they had parking spaces. Right next to the light post, painted like you could actually get into them. You couldn't get into the parking space because the light post would be right behind it. Yeah, so he it was, he, it was stupid. He's backing out, hits the fucking thing. Oh shit! Did I hit a black kid? <laughs> <laughs> Which you know, because where I used to live, it was a predominantly black neighborhood, and it it was just part of the running joke of don't hit the black kids, you know. Because and I terrible. really thought, oh my god, I just hit a fucking kid. Yeah, I'm going to prison. <laughs> Which is funny because... The car came to a full fucking stop. Yeah, if I like hit a kid, not, he was not literally Superman. Like, yeah, you, you you didn't hit Hancock. It's fine. No, yeah. But, uh, yeah, the, that's a story that I, I will always find amusing. It was fun. That was a weird night. That was a very strange night. <laughs> so, um, that's, I say let's talk about some movies yeah. that you should always watch on Halloween. And for me, one of those movies is nightmare before Christmas. Yeah. Nightmare before Christmas is a great movie that you can watch two yeah. times a year oh, or yeah. any time. I like that movie anytime, but, but yeah, it does fit twice a year. Cause it's both a Christmas and a, and Halloween, a Halloween movie. Yeah. It's one of the, I, I, I cannot think of another movie that can fit that really. No, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> we've talked about it before, but die hard just cause it's, well, it's that, a Christmas movie. That hurts a Christmas a great movie, movie, but it's not a it's not a it's not a Halloween movie. No, no, no. It doesn't fit two holidays. It's just an anytime movie. But yeah, uh, A Nightmare on Elm Street was fucking great. I remember being a kid, and because of my semi sheltered life, I didn't see that movie. Yeah. For a few years after it came out, and I was like, "This can't be. This isn't as good as it is." I was like a snobby kid, like, "No, that movie's not." Wait, are we talking about good. Nightmare on Elm Street? Or no, Nightmare before fucking Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas. I mean, because they both fit. Yeah, I didn't see Nightmare on Elm Street for a few for like a long time either. But uh, yeah. Nightmare Before Christmas specifically, like I remember being like, "No, that's just a goth kid thing." <laughs> and then I fucking finally watched the movie and was like, "Oh my god, this is amazing! This is a great fucking <laughs> this flick. movie's just good." Jack Skellington's a a great motherfucker. Man. Yeah, I love he's him. terrifying, but he's great. Yeah, no, he's totally cool though, and he just wants to bring a little holiday cheer to Halloween Town. I know? love like, that. Come on, dude, that's all it is, you know. He sees the, he finds out about Christmas. He's like, that looks really cool. That seems really nice. He's exchanging the gifts. Bring that. What in is here. this? <laughs> I still remember most. Of the now, now that movie. I got an unpopular opinion though. Yeah, because there's one movie that has gained a cult following for its Halloweeniness, and yeah. that's a uh, Hocus Pocus. Love that movie. I don't hate. Joe doesn't I, like it. I hate that movie. Ugh. I no, you know what? I can't say I hate that movie. Um, I don't like it. I don't dislike it. But like, if it's on, I'll I'll keep going. Yeah. Like like. Like, let's say, no, I love that movie. I fucking yeah. I, oh, that's my. That was like one of the definitive Halloween movies I'd watch, uh, cause uh, family whatever family channel a, became ABC Family, they played like, yeah a ton of those kind of really cheesy Halloween movies, Di- and I didn't have Disney Channel at the time. So yeah, I mean that's that where was, I saw Hocus Pocus. That's where I saw Halloween Town. I think that was back when the Disney Channel wasn't a part of a regular cable lineup. No, you had to pay you, extra. You for had it. to pay extra for it. Yeah. I never, I never liked it. I never liked it. I don't like it now. <laughs> I didn't get it at first when I was too younger. When I got a little bit, like in high, in like in middle school or probably high school, I think when I yeah. saw it, then I liked it more. 
And I liked it for um, what's her face when she oh was Sarah still Jessica Parker Sarah Jessica yeah. Parker when she was she played super fucking attractive in she, that movie she played the young blonde witch yep yeah yeah I feel you there like, and she, there was moments where she was hitting on the kid and I was like whoa <laughs> <laughs> I was like go with her yeah yeah just the, the sacrifice it, thing is scary but go with her it's fine dude you'll be fine now we see why Luke likes just it. me yeah I mean <laughs> hey that's what I. Whatever you know, like the golf chicks. I was going through <laughs> different times in my life, <laughs> maturing into an adult. It was one of those movies. I, it just never clicked for me. Like I don't. It I had don't, a. I, I don't did know. The cat talk. I don't know. I don't remember. I remember there was a cat in it that was awesome. It's very well one of those. Pump, it, 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 I think the reason why I don't like it could be a, a, a sort of oversaturation. Mm. Like the same reason why I don't like the Iron Giant, and the same reason why I don't like Lion King. Is because, like, Iron Giant. Oh, you had to watch it? If I told you guys why I hate the Iron Giant, there was one, there was a weekend where Cartoon Network had literally nothing but the Iron Giant on (laughs) for 48 hours straight. Jesus Christ. I'm I'm not joking, and they did it multiple times, where the Iron Giant, for whatever fucking reason, was the only thing they were showing for a minimum of a 24-hour period. That's insane. I don't remember that, but I remember loving that movie. And it's like, like the first time I watched the Iron Giant, it was cool. Yeah. The next sixteen times that I found it on the fucking TV, when all I wanted to see was Dragon Ball Z or, or fucking Inuyasha, and it was fucking Iron Giant, I was like, no, fuck <laughs> you. And then the same thing, of course, for the Lion King. You know, there was literally a summer where we watched it thirty something times in a fucking <laughs> row because my little sister just wanted to watch it all the time, and my mom would just let her watch it. And this was before I had my own TV. This was before I had, so I had to sit. There. It was either There's nothing else to watch. Yeah, it was either I I sit in my room and do nothing, or I sit there and watch Lion King. And <laughs> I, I I if I could go back, I would tell myself to sit in your fucking room. It's fine. Yeah. Don't worry. You're gonna hate something that everyone will love. And you're gonna be mad about if you sit there and you watch this. You're gonna fucking hate it. Yeah. Just like and everybody, it's one of the greatest movies ever. Even though it's a rip off of Kimbo the White Lion, mm. but whatever. So yeah, yeah. And nobody in America has seen Akimbo. <laughs> so yeah, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, like it's just one of those things where it could be an oversaturation because I mean, it's definitely on multiple channels every yeah, Halloween. Oh, yeah. So it's like I maybe I'm burnt out on it. Maybe every time I'm scrolling through my cable channels, which I didn't have, but which I I mean I had when I was younger. I, I mean, it's know. it's definitely a culty Kind of like that's that's why people like the movie. It's yeah. not really a good movie. No, it's not. It's <laughs> like I'll completely admit that. Yeah. Um, like same thing with Halloween Town. The acting's so overly cheesy. Yeah, it's the just... story's stupidly cheesy. But I still like. I, I love those movies. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't mind cheesy flicks. Yeah, know, but like I, I think. Yeah, you know, watch Hocus Pocus. It's fine. I can't even remember. Don't, don't listen. Shit that don't listen to movie. me. Don't listen to me. This, you know what? I did like start appreciating later. I loved like the fact that they gave up backstory of the Hocus Pocus. Mm. Like they had like you know it happened. These witches were burned back in like the 1700s or something like that. And right. there's the kid who's the bloodline of some fucker who lived in the village and all this other crap. And it was like ah, it was kind of Salem witch trials thing going on there. And right. It was interesting. Right. I don't know. Yeah. Monty Python and Holy Grail. Go watch that. Yeah, I'm a, I that's mean, that's fucking amazing hilarious. Movie. For some reason, when you said witches being burned back in the 1700s, it took me back to the scene of Monty Python and the Holy Grail. It's a witch! It's a Murder! witch! How do you know? She turned me into a newt! She Everyone t- looks, into, <laughs> looks at him, he's like, I got, I got better. better. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> and, yeah, for some reason, that just reminded me of what that. Can that float! That's where my... A duck! <laughs> <laughs> So if she weighs the same as a duck, she's a witch. Yeah, that's where my mind went to. That, that this is why you don't give me tasks. <laughs> because when you when there's something important to come up, I think of dumb shit like that. <laughs> I fucking love Monty Python, man. Monty, yeah, Monty Python's amazing. But uh yeah, like like that's the kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. I I and lately I haven't really there's not many Halloween movies I'll watch anymore that aren't like they're just flipping through cable and saying right. Halloween Town or that. Although watching Halloween, that's a that's yeah. a good one. I've never like I like Halloween, right. but it's not it's not anywhere near like I I like Friday the Thirteenth and um, Nightmare on Elm Street more than the original Halloween personally. Yeah, like, I gotta say like going back and watching the original Nightmare on mm-hmm. Elm Street is terrible. 
Yeah, oh yeah. Oh it's, my god. It's so, so Texas bad. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, too. Yeah. Uh, well, that one, I think, still holds up. No, that one holds up fine, um, but yeah, going back... That one and the original Friday the 13th hold up fine, but nice... The, uh, second or third Friday the 13th, there's, like, when they introduced the hockey mask. Right. So good. But, uh, but yeah, going going back to the original, that that's fine. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah, going back to the original Nightmare on Elm Street, it, it's not great. <laughs> Um, it's not held up well. It's not the production values are just shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean those movies. They they there were a couple of good sequels though, but well, then, yeah. then they got weird. I I don't know. I I think uh, the new uh, Halloween is going to be coming out next year, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, this sounds like it could be really cool. Is this supposed to be a sequel? It to is the a sequel Halloween? to yeah to the first one, which makes me go. Didn't they do that already? Well, but you know they what? They have they had the first movie and then. The second was still good. And then I think that's when Rob Zombie came in and did his movies. Right. And, like, I don't... I remember seeing H2O, I think, and I hated that. Yeah. And there was one other one where they tried to go back and do his backstory, and that was fucking bad, too. Again, explaining away things. I'll, t- I'll tell you a good movie to watch on Halloween. But next... This one should be good. What's Evil that? Dead. Oh, fuck yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Evil Dead and Army of Darkness. Yes. Watch them both back to back. Oh, yeah. Screwhead edition of Army of Darkness. Yep. And the fucking, and just Evil Dead. Doesn't matter. Like, those, those movies. Are so fantastic. Like, even now, they're so over the top goof mm-hmm. and just campy and fun. They're just so much fun. But they also have their moments where it's like, holy shit, that's a little bit scary. Yeah. I that's mean, a little bit freaky there. It, like, when fuck. Bruce Campbell starts just. Laughing maniacally into the camera. I was just gonna say when he in loses blood. his shit and yeah. the fucking the deer head yeah. starts laughing. That still is terrifying, and That's, it's yeah, goofy man. as fuck. And we, I mean, I remember when the Evil Dead show came out. Oh, um, that's on Showtime. Cool. I need to. Watch what was it. that last year or the year before? We were all we would all gather out in this living room here and we'd watch it. Yeah. And I remember we watched the movie, and I I was genuinely creeped out of some of those yep. parts, man. Like. Yeah, that that's a really good uh, fucking Halloween movie. Just to go watch Evil Dead and Army of mm-hmm. Darkness. Army of Darkness is just fun. Yeah, that I actually saw Army of Darkness before I had ever even seen Evil Dead. Yeah, I, I, I saw it on like TBS or something. Like I didn't that. even know they were connected mm-hmm. um, until when the Evil Dead show came out and we watched all that. Like I had no idea. Like I just remember seeing Army of Darkness and like the cover is it wouldn't lead you to believe that it's anywhere near connected to Evil Dead in any way. Yeah, no, the only thing is that it's a dude with one arm and then I watched Evil Dead and was like, "Oh, that's well, a dude, the with, dude a with a chainsaw." I see. Hand. He's missing an arm so he has a chainsaw yeah. grafted onto it. It is amazing just over the top actor. <laughs> Yeah, Bruce Campbell is fucking great, man. He's fucking great. He's in Burn Notice. He's pretty good in Burn Notice. He's the only reason to watch that show. Other than that, you have the main character who stands there looking like a fucking idiot with his mouth open all the time. And sunglasses. And sunglasses. Don't forget his sunglasses. God, I hated that show. He's got his sunglasses and, you know, he's got his beat shirts on. Don't forget that shit. You know, the the button-up collared shirts with the... Yeah, don't forget that. You gotta have that. Stands there with his goddamn mouth hanging open like he's had a fucking lobotomy. Yeah, his mouth's always a little bit of jar. <laughs> God, I hated that show. If it were, if it were another inch open, it's like he's waiting for a dick to be put into it. <laughs> he's always per- like standing there looking like he's about to go. Uh. Actually, it looks like he's always just doing that. Yeah. <laughs> that that's what he's doing. That that. But always uh, confused. It's poor. It is a decent show, though. Poor confused film. Like, straight up, I, it is. I, I mean, I don't doubt it. It's just I could not get over that character. I hated his I voice. Mean, I got to say, like, the, the episodes I've caught just on Late Night Fox or something like that when I used to watch TV, they were they were, they were uh, enjoyable. But Bruce Campbell does make that show a little bit better. Yeah. And he definitely makes it easier to digest because he's just there. He's just being Bruce Campbell, <laughs> and that's just, great. When, hey, I used to watch... Uh, Shit, I remember there's there's an alien invasion sci fi movie that he was in that was fucking awful, but it was good because Bruce Campbell was the main character. Well, Bruce Campbell, he, he made it tolerable. Yeah, yeah. Don't um, say it was good because he was in it. Deadhead Fred or Two Head Fred? There's another movie where he's got two heads. <laughs> That's the concept. I don't know, but it was good. Like, or at least Bruce Campbell made it watchable. Was his other head uh, Tom Green? I don't remember. Oh. I don't remember that. I don't one know at all. why that comes. I to didn't mind. actually like that one, but I would watch 
like parts of it because you know Bruce Campbell's on screen and he's funny. Yeah, he is. Like he's he's, he's somebody who became unintentionally funny, mm-hmm. and it's he just delivers one liners perfectly. He has that. He has that. He <laughs> this has that, is my bone stick. He just yeah. He just he. he the way he delivers lines is just perfect for sarcastic wit. Like it's just great, and I, I, I definitely like. We only watched the first season of the Evil Dead show, but yeah. it was really fucking good, man. I really want to catch up, man. Fucking Lucy Lawless is even in that show. Yeah, she's still a goddess. Oh yeah, Lucy Lawless is, is she's fucking great, man. She's awesome, man. Um, man, I I still love that kind of uh, fish out of water, man out of time. That that trope. It's not in a lot of stuff, but him going back in time, you know, yeah, yeah. being the dude from the future with a shotgun, they have no idea what a fucking shotgun is. Don't even have cannons. I love that concept in and stories. And a fucking chainsaw. Yeah, and a chainsaw. You know, forget the chainsaw on the car. There's yeah, yeah, a, yeah, the fuck Sam Raimi's, uh, what is it? What is it? it, it it's Sam Raimi's Lincoln, car. or? Is it an Oldsmobile? I don't know. I don't know. I don't I can't remember car. I'm from Michigan, and I don't know. Uh, I can't tell cars by looking at them. Which really, really sucked be living in Michigan because everyone knows cars in that state. That that is the car state. Yeah. God damn it, Luke. Everyone. Oh, hey, yeah. He drives a fucking Lincoln. Da da da. I just. Oh, okay. I just it's love... a fucking red car, right? Yeah. Is it just four doors. Yeah. Okay. I can fucking memorize that. It's, it's it is great though because he puts that car in every one of his movies. Every single movie. Every, he still owns it too. Every single movie he's ever done, that car has popped up somewhere. Spider Man. Spider Man Two. Spider Man Three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Uncle Ben was driving it, I think, in, in the first one. Yep. Yeah, like that's just that, it pops up everywhere. So go back, watch all the Sam Raimi's movies, and look for his shitty, his shitty. It's two door, I think, and it's like an ugly yellow beige type it's an color, old like khaki colored car. Yeah, it's it's terrible, but he that's loves funny. that car, and he puts it in every single fucking thing he does. It's in the Evil Dead TV show, or yeah. another car just like it. I think it might be the car. I don't, did Sam Raimi have anything to do with that? Though? He uh, he was the he directed a few like the first episode, right. the pilot, and I think he comes in and directs every once in a while. Right, but he's really the producer. Uh, I think he's helped out with writing. Uh, I mean, TV's different than movies, where the director in a movie is the one with all the power. On right. TV shows, it's really the writer, yeah, that has the power, and I guess the producers too. But. I think right. he's 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 involved. But he's not directly involved all the time. Right, right. I get you. Still I, pretty fucking awesome. Right. <laughs> and I mean, it's Ooh, it's me. the Evil Dead. It's Deadites. It's got Ash killing Deadites with a chainsaw and getting his ass kicked randomly because it's funny. Yeah. So it's like slapstick humor in a generation where we'd like most of the time it's dick humor. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, I still love slapstick. I still oh yeah, yeah slapstick is still good. Mm-hmm. When done well, like, yeah. There's, there's, I, I don't, I feel like it's a lost art that not many people can do as well anymore. Yeah. But uh, all right, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for us. Yeah, you know, go see, go watch a horror movie, go watch Get Out, or go watch fucking Alien, or go, you know, or, or watch Halloween. Hey, I watch Halloween, watch Nightmare Before Christmas, mm-hmm. watch Hocus Pocus, whatever. Watch the first Saw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I da, hate da, Saw. Da, 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 da. I hate the movie series, but the first movie I can well, I could sit down and watch it. Yeah, actually, you know what? Go on YouTube if you can. Uh, I can't remember the name of the channel. It's old, but thirty second movies or something like that. Ten second movies. I just remember it's an animated YouTube uh, say series where they had like they do like little animated rabbits, yeah, and they draw and they do the movies in like ten or six seconds or something. It's fucking great with Saul. It was so funny. Go find that. That sounds great. I don't remember what it was called. For some reason, that reminds me of the 12 elves of Christmas, you know, where, like, they're doing really stupid shit, trying to get Christmas. Like, I remember there's one episode where the elf is, like, trying to hang up some lights, and he gets to the end and can't quite reach the lights. Yeah. And so he pulls his pants down and whips his dick I up. remember that, yeah. <laughs> and hits, That's some fucking Newgrounds old shit, man. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, you know, I, I'm, I know I'm subscribed to the channel, so I'll go ahead and post the channel link in our, our uh, description so you guys can find it. So anyway, that's it for us. Uh, for the Ungodly Geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. Check us out on social media and everything, everybody. Give us some Happy likes. Halloween. Give us some likes and some ratings and you know, all that good stuff. iTunes. YouTube. Yeah, we're on YouTube now. Ain't that nice? I'm uh, I'm working on slowly putting the videos of past episodes up. 
I hope to have them all up by the end of the year, but, uh, you know, I have no promises to make. So that's it for us. You guys have a good day. See you.